Hello Mark, good to see you, especially today because we're going to be talking about something that you know a little bit about, it's of course the pit crew. Yeah, it's a, an amazing opportunity that I had. I was part of the McLaren pit stop crew for almost 10 years. Fantastic experience, you know, to be part of, of a Grand Prix. You know, you have a, a direct impact as part of the pit stop crew in the outcome of a race. So that's a, a really special feeling, particularly when it goes well. Call me naive, but this morning when I was taking a look at the car, I couldn't find a stop start button or a key and ignition. How do they get it started? So unlike your road car, like you say, there's no keys, there's no ignition keys. So the way we do that is by using this external starter motor. So on your road car, you had a starter motor that you carry around with you. It's always on the car, so it's still there whenever you need it. With a Formula One car, we start the car at the beginning of a Grand Prix. In theory, after that, we no longer need to start anymore. So this thing gets inserted at the back of the car and spins the engine over at the start of the race, but then gets left behind. Now, one thing I do know about the pit crew is it's not all about refueling anymore, mainly because of safety reasons. So I guess your main job is all around these bad boys. Yeah, it's all about changing the four wheels and tyres now in a pit stop, and incredible that we're able to change all four in, in just over two seconds. But the way we do that is by the equipment we use, and if you first, if you look at this wheel, one of the first things you might notice is that there's only one wheel nut here in the middle. On a road car, you've probably got four or five of those dotted around the edge, but of course it would take a lot longer to undo four or five nuts than it does to do the one. And the way we do it was we undo it with this thing here. This is the wheel gun. This is what you see the guys in the pit stop operating, and it's something that works off incredibly high pressure, spins at incredible revolutions. <laughs> And as you, can, as you can see, you get quite a kick. You know, it's a very powerful piece of kit. And the reason it has to be that powerful is because the faster we can get that nut off and then back on again, of course, that means that we can change the wheel, we can do the pit stop a lot quicker than we would otherwise. Obviously, essentially, you've got to lift the whole car as well. Yeah, which you might think would be difficult, but actually two guys do that, you know, using these things. This is the front jack, there's another one at the rear, and, uh, and one guy at each end is, is effectively able to slot this underneath the front wing here, and almost with one hand, lift the car off the floor. It happens really quickly, almost before the car's even stopped. This front jack is under that, that front wing and the thing is going up. I always feel sorry for the guy that stood there at the end with the car racing towards him. Have you done that part? Yeah, I have, and it's terrifying. Yeah. Certainly the first time you do it, you're standing there waiting for this car approaching at what is motorway speeds and hoping he's gonna stop inches away from your ankle. So yes, it is terrifying. And there's an, a huge element of trust between the crew, for everybody around the crew, and the driver, and vice versa. Something else that's quite frightening, really, for a lot of people. Most people don't sit at their desks and have the world watching them do their job, but you essentially do. Yeah, yeah, it's, an, a, big, it's a big part of it, too. You know, the, the operations around this car, everybody's role is fairly straightforward, but you know, in your mind, that you've got 300 million people sometimes watching you on TV, and there's an incredible amount of pressure that comes along with that. So, as part of the pit stop, roles, you know, you have to find a way to block all of that out. Listen, Mark, you can stand down and relax today because these four wheels are staying firmly on the ground, you'll be pleased to know. That's a relief. <laughs>